فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على مبارك سيدنا محمد في الأرواح وعلى جسده في الأجساد وعلى قبره في القبور وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عن الفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. A month ago that the top U.S. general in Afghanistan returned to the United States, his mission apparently over. Since then, the Taliban has made huge gains throughout Afghanistan, and now the U.S. is redeploying troops to assist in the evacuation of American nationals and Afghans who worked with the U.S. This is a temporary mission with a narrow focus. As with all deployments of our troops into harm's way, our commanders have the inherent right of self-defense, and any attack on them can and will be met with a forceful and an appropriate response. 3,000 troops will arrive at Kabul airport in the next 24 to 48 hours. A support team of another thousand is being sent to Qatar to process the single immigrant visas that are being given to Afghan personnel. Yet another brigade is being deployed to Kuwait to operate as a quick reaction force should the U.S. Embassy in Kabul come under threat. But the State Department dismisses reports that the embassy may close. My response to that is that's not true. Uh, this is not a full evacuation. The UN Secretary General in New York has expressed great concern about the situation, but still holds out hope for a diplomatic resolution. We are continuing to engage with the Taliban uh, in Doha. I mean, we are continuing to believe that there is a political solution that can be had. This doesn't mean that we are also blind to what is going on in the, on the ground. Uh, we are not blind uh, to the suffering of the civilians who are caught in crossfire in, uh, in urban uh, environments. And the U.S. president insists it's Afghans who must deal with the situation, saying he does not regret his decision to withdraw U.S. forces. Afghan leaders have to come together. We lost thousands, lost death and injury, thousands of American personnel. They've got to fight for themselves, fight for their nation. But ironically, with the latest deployments, the American presence will be back to the same level as it was for the past two years of the U.S.'s longest-running war. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.